Hiya, this is the Barbara Nice podcast numero uno. Um, I'm Barbara Nice. Hiya. And uh, in this podcast, we're going to be talking about pubs. Uh, there's one round the corner from where we are, and it's it's it's, gone, it's on the way out, and that got me thinking, well, let's get talking about that. We're talking about pubs. Who was trapped up? When lady, landladies and landlords were kings and queens, when pool tables ruled, I think that's about it. So have a listen, kids, have a listen. We don't really know what we're doing, we're just having a go. I've got guests, I've got guests. I've got Johnny. Say hiya, John. Hiya. Hiya, he's a lovely lad. He said he'd come along and we are in Paul's shed. Hiya, Paul. Hello. Okay, so he's doing a bit of uh, recording, aren't you, Paul, and chipping in? Welcome to my shed. Welcome to Paul's shed and to Barbara's podcast. Everybody welcome, climb on board. Aye, aye. It's Barbara Nice here. Barbara's in strides at Nice in the Biscuit, and I am doing my very first podcast. You've got to move with the times. And I'm in with I'm with Paul. I'm in Paul's shed. And for a bit, I've met him in Asda and all that kind of stuff. And he's been saying, Have you done a podcast yet, Barbara? I said, Well, no, I haven't. He said, Well, they're all doing them. And I said, Well, I suppose I'll have to. So anyway, I've booked one in, and you know what it's like. You think, Oh, well, an idea will come to me, and the days were coming, it was going coming in on a Thursday. And I thought, What am I going to do? I'm going to Paul's shed. I haven't really got anything to talk about. And then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I noticed that there's a pub around the corner. Now, I am twinned. I don't know where you live. But I am twinned with, with two places. I'm twinned with Stockport, Edgley Stockport, Land of the Viaduct, the Mighty Pyramid. And I'm also twinned with King's Heath, Birmingham. And I was very interested in, I'm very interested in things changing, really. Don't it always seem to go that you don't know what you've got till it's gone? And I've lost some stuff over the years, and I might be talking about that. And very nice batik scarf I left at the Rum Runner quite a while ago. So if you found that, let me know. So we've all lost stuff. It's part of life. Yin and Yang, Fen and Shui start skiing Uch. And I was looking at this pub, the Fox and Grapes. Now, if you don't know it... It, do you know HS2, whatever it's called? Well, they, there's been a lot of trouble about it. Uh, it's going to be like this high, high, fast train stuff going through. Get you quicker to London. Why you want to go there, I don't begin know. But anyway, you can get you quicker to London and all that kind of stuff. And they're knocking stuff down. And there's a pub. Now, I don't know about you, but I pig in love a proper pub. A pub with a, you know, a proper landlady or a landlord, something like that, where you go and you meet pals, you get off with people, you get a lock in, that type of pub. And this one's called the Fox and Grapes. It's been shut a while, and I've never been in it, actually. I've never been in it. But it's always captured my imagination. I thought, do you know what? I wouldn't mind talking about that in Paul's shed. And isn't it lovely life? Like I said, it's all yin and yang furniture where you start skidding. If you put it out, it will come back to you. So I just started saying, you know, I'm fancy talking about fox and grapes. And this lad got in touch with me. Johnny sat across me in the, across now in, while we were in Paul's shed. And he said, Barbara, you used to go there a lot. And I said, you're picking joking me. He said, I'm not picking joking you. And he's here. He's sat in Paul's shed. Hiya, Johnny. Hiya, Barbara. Thanks for coming on my very first podcast. That's a pleasure. Have you ever been on a podcast before, never, Johnny? Never. Do you listen to them, love? Sometimes. I've Sometimes. never listened to one in my life. <laughs> What's the idea? What makes for a good podcast in first place, John? Uh, I think they're all the best ones are funny. Funny, yeah. yeah. Well, let's so hope there's been a few laughs in this already. You know, when you say funny, what do you mean funny? What makes you laugh? Who do you think is funny, Johnny? Um, well, apart from yourself. Oh, in secret, so, I own a five. Uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> we go back years. When's the first time you saw me being Mrs. Barbara Nice, Barbara's in strides at Nice in the Biscuit, John? Well, it's it's years and years ago. Oh, it no, was no. A, a thing called Club Unlikely. Mm. I think it was at the Arts Fest, the very first one. Oh, that's it. When everybody used to do something for nothing. Yeah, that yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, so right. you didn't get paid. <laughs> you never got bloody paid, Johnny. <laughs> no, and a, a friend of mine used to, well, he started that and you were on it. And that was the first time I saw you and... Was it stage diving or sometimes stage dive? It was, um, I seem to remember it was quite late in the evening, so oh, I don't, the yeah. details are hazy. There was there was a man in a gimp mask. <laughs> Had you been to the Fox and Grapes? There was a man in a gimp? That wasn't me. Uh, no. I think you're thinking of another Barbara Nice. <laughs> I don't knock around with that type. I fell her in a gimp mask. Wasn't the 
one of the lads on stage. Oh, well, I think cl- I remember it now. <coughs> that was Club Unlikely all over, though, wasn't yes. it? Yes. They liked masks and things like that, yeah, didn't they? They did. In fact, I just done some of the Lunar Festival, and I think they were messing about with a nappy as that. They're a nice lot of lads, but they need to grow up. Oh, no, no. You think never grow never up, grow never up. grow up, never too old for a nappy? No. So, you've seen me on and off for a, for a fair while, but I'm investigative. I want to get to the bottom of things, Johnny. And I want to get to the bottom, really, of the fox and grapes. Because you used to go there, didn't you? Now, for people who've not been, tell us about your your relationship. You can't have a relationship with a pub, can't you? Well, definitely, actually. Yeah, tell us um, about yours, love. Well, uh, I was 16. Too um, young, Johnny. Uh, yes, they didn't know that, allegedly, anyway. Um, <laughs> and, I, and I was, I don't know why, but I was dragged to this meeting of a political party at Cars Lane. Yeah. A Cars Lane is supposed to be religious, but it was a hive of poli- it was, oh, it it's was, a political hotbed. It was a night of Trotskyism. And, um, was it? And Did that, your mother know? Did your mother know where you were going? She thought I was going to the pub, I think, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, and then Go afterwards, on, anyway. they all said, oh, we're going for a drink. I went, oh, that sounds great. Where are you going? And they mentioned, because it was only down the road, and yeah. I'd never been there. So I went all with them. And we had a couple of pints, and yeah. it was it was it was a school night. Um, Which school did you go to, John? I went to um, Five Ways in oh. Bartley Green. Oh, very was, posh. Well, you, I was you in you the sixth form. eleven plus. Somehow, yes, I did. That it was easier lie. back then, though. Was it a lot easier? <laughs> it was. Do you think that's good? <laughs> anyway, so you did good. You was at Five Ways. Isn't it funny, Five Ways, back the Green? When you say Five Ways, I always think you just mean just outside town. But no, that's confusing for people. Oh, it's a very confusing school, really. Was it, love? When you yeah. look back, were you glad you went? Mm, no. 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 I, I have met a few people who have said that, but it, it'll have come in. How's your Latin? Uh, oh, I was so bad at French, they wouldn't let me do Latin, No, actually. I know I had to do German. Yeah. So anyway, go on then. So you were, you were that, at that school, and it was a school night. You go to the, you go to the Fox and Grapes, you're 16, you've been to a Trotsky meeting at Cars uh, Lane. You couldn't make it up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and, uh, and then it was, half, it was gone half ten, and I put my drink down on the bar, and I turned to go, and the nice Irish woman behind the bar said, See him again! And I couldn't believe me luck. And I went, oh, okay then. And I stayed till about two o'clock in the morning. Do you think she would have been locked up these days? Well, the place was full of policemen because it was around the corner. Brilliant. (laughs) So they knew what was going on, but you know we. They was all in there for a lock-in. There was quite a a few of them. What's that police station called just around the corner? I think it's called Allison Street, isn't it? Allison Street. Oh, is it just Digby's police station? Paul's here. Paul's in his shed. Ah, there's Paul in his shed. So it's it's called Digba Police Station. Yeah. So they was all in there, and it was so they're not going to say nothing. No, well there Paul? was a, there was always a couple of them, definitely. And um and so I stayed till two in the morning, and then I went to school the next day, and I I felt awful apart from I was really buzzing that exactly. I just had my first lock in, <laughs> and I told all my mates, and so we all went on the Friday night. And then Did we went. Did she remember you? The yeah. Lady. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, shall remember your drinks, and then. <laughs> And then she got to know my name because we went back on the Friday, the Saturday, and then nearly every weekend for about ten or fifteen years. So everybody years. from Five Ways was going up there. There was quite a few, yes. <laughs> you know, grammar school kids on cheap cider at two o'clock in the morning in Digworth. It's what you want, really. It is. It? And what kind of clientele was? She, what's the, what was the name of the landlady? She was called Tractor. You're joking. No, it's it's <laughs> short for. I think it was called a. a Attract. A tractor. Not yeah. protractor. No, but everyone called a tractor, as in... What a lovely name, a tractor. Yeah. Mm, gosh, it conjures, doesn't it? So names are conjure with. I bet, her, sorry, her real name was Massey or something, Massey Ferguson. No, no, no. Ferguson. Her, it, her actual first name was Gaelic and it said tract, a tractor. Oh, okay. So the locals uh, just shortened it to tractor. It's a lovely name, a tractor. Yeah. So if you're at home now and you think, ooh, we're having a baby, think about a tractor, it's a good name. And definitely... Don't call. Listen, it's important. Can I just talk? Because this is important. <laughs> Do think about the kid living with that name, because there's a kid running around Kings East, you know, called Dwayne Pipe. Please. Think <laughs> now, listen, it's all right being in Paul's shed talking about what we've lost and pubs, <laughs> but that's a kid's life. That's important. So a tractor. Yes. Yes. Uh, allegedly, all of this. What things was she happened. look? What I mean, she conjures to me. Does she have red hair? She probably did have red hair once. <laughs> um, she was short. 
she was roundish uh, for the biggest smile you ever saw, and oh. she was How in charge. Wow, well, she looked. She was probably only in her fifties, but she was a publican. She looked a bit older. People <laughs> looked older in those days. They did, they did, especially to a sixteen-year-old. That's right. <laughs> She, but you knew she was nice. Oh, she was lovely. She was lovely. And, um, and uh, she was in charge. Was she in charge? She was. Uh, it was her and her husband and her son and her daughter who were the staff, really. Brilliant. He, he was allegedly in charge, I think, but obviously... She like, was. She was. And <laughs> I never saw him pull a pint. Uh, Lazy pig. Yeah, exactly. That my husband, Ken. Absolutely. But um, she ran the roost. And <laughs> I said, because when I sent you the... I drank there for 15 years... And it was full of proper, proper drinkers. Cause, Characters. Because you could drink all night, allegedly. And um, But I only ever saw one bit of trouble in there. Now, isn't that unbelievable? You go down Broad Street, it's like Dodge City, love, isn't it? Exactly. People spoiling for a fight. And I, I don't know about you, love, but I think it's because they're not having a proper talk to people. Will you talk? I'm interested in you as a young kid, a grammar school kid. Have a drink of your tea because Paul's made it for you. Um, a young kid, intelligent kid, bright lad's going to go on and do something. Mixing in with these, were they mostly fellas, older fellas? There wasn't many women there, no, no there right. wasn't. Um, but yes, you talk to different people every night. There was a pool table. Brilliant. Uh, we loved pool. Okay. It was only a little one. It was annoying because there was a post where you couldn't really reach. There was a little <laughs> queue. But I think it was only 20p or something for a game. So you play all night. Did you have to get anyone. the stick up the wall at one point? Is that the, I know the kind of yeah, yeah, places yeah. like that. Yeah, so, so it meant that you talked to lots of different people. Oh, and looking back now, the characters you met, were you glad you was mixing with them? Oh, God, yeah. yeah. Why, love? Why would you say it's important to mix with them? Because old drinky men are quite funny, actually. Yeah, some of them. Know they are. And they've got things to. It's all like going back to this no fighting, talking first. Have a drink, love. He keeps going for his drink. <laughs> and Paul's made it for him. Uh, Paul, while Hi. he has a little sip, mm. we're in your shed. Might as well he... talk to you. Do you know anything about this pub? Or anything well, we've said that's rung a bell with you? I, I don't know if my role in this is to be Mr. Controversial or not. Well, it's your shed. You can do what well, you want, love. Well, it's my shed. Let's make the tea and, and give the audio. We'll see. But, you know, do you know how long it takes to get to London, by the way? What? <laughs> do you know how long it takes to get yes, to London? Yes, I do know how long it takes. About an hour and ten minutes. Well, it's your, don't know where you're going on a coach. It's two hours, 45 minutes, actually. <laughs> I do know how long it takes if we're going to go bloody particular. Hour and ten minutes on a train. Now, yes. this HS2 is going to slash that down to 50, 55 minutes. And you want to be keen going to London all the time, do you, Paul? I is think that what your raison d'etre is, love? You're not love? thinking of the poor people who want to work in London and live in Birmingham. They're going to, lo- they're going to gain 15 minutes just because because there's an old pub in the way. Smash up the pub, demolish it, tear up the fields, get rid of it all, get, demolish the villages in the way. HS2 will save you 50. I think he's being devil's advocate. Is it, he is. He I don't convinced. think he means a bloody word he's saying. His nose minutes. is getting longer and longer like Pinocchio's. <laughs> 15 minutes, Barbara. 15 minutes. What could you do with that extra 15 minutes? Well, exactly. Oh. You come home, you've got 15 minutes, you want to work in London and live in Birmingham. 15 minutes, both ways, that's a half an hour. I'm not in, I'm not particularly against the HS2, whatever <laughs> it's called, HS1. Is it eight, one HS2, or two? HS2, two. Well, two. where's one gone? I don't know. That's, as what far as I know, it's the, channel, it's the Channel Tunnel. Oh. I think you that are, is HS1. You're pulling my leg. I've, I've, I'm only guessing. Let's Google it. No, we haven't got time. But still, I think that is the first high-speed train. I'm not the fact man here. I'm not your Stephen uh, Fry. Oh, well, if you were, you'd be getting paid a lot more than me. <laughs> Did you hear about that <laughs> on QI? What's the name of the girl that's Sandy doing Sandy Stephen's getting paid a fortune. Yeah. Sandy's getting peanuts. And he's not even doing it anymore. What's it all about, Alfie? <laughs> is it just for the moment we live? This is a topical show as well, you can see. Fresh off the press, things that are going on. But also, with a cast looking back to history and what we can learn from it. So we're back in this pub now, playing pool on a table that's too small. She's there, a tractor, a tra- tractor. <laughs> nice, lovely name. She's the ruler. She's yeah. the ruler. He's lazy pig sat. I hope mum's listening. I'm sure he's lovely. He <laughs> sat. Was he normally sat on a stool by the bar? Yes. Yeah, oh, another absolutely. type. He was. He was <laughs> lovely, but he always had a drink in his hand. Were they, and were they properly Irish? 
well, him, uh, Mick and Tractor were, and the, then the son, there was one son who didn't work in the pub. Mm. He had a, he escaped, but he kept coming back. And the young son basically just started turning into his dad. He took it over and oh, you could see he was okay. young and attractive and, and he just was turning into his dad. And he was called Young Mick. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> and that was Mick. Happen, uh, oh. uh, and there was a daughter, of course. Um, oh right, what happened to her? She, she broke all our hearts because she married somebody. Because oh. she was well, you the only. In love with her. We were. She was, she the, was the only woman in the pub, really. So. Uh, <laughs> Now, listen, did a tractor do any food, like a roast potatoes or something, on a plate that she passed around, or sandwiches, butties? Well, people talk about food there. I don't remember You don't food. remember that bit. I remember once having a bowl of tomato soup, but I don't know how that happened, Never really. do I love No, no, there was allegedly um, um, a kitchen, but I never but saw But you it. never saw anything of it. <laughs> no. So she broke your heart, the daughter. She ran off with somebody. Not ran off, I don't know. That's it. Well, she didn't... Well, I suppose she probably did know we were all in love with her, but she quite rightly found somebody proper to go out with. <laughs> of her own age. <laughs> of her own I'm age, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How old was she? Well, she was a couple of years... She was probably about five years older than me. That's right? nothing, is yeah. it? It's nothing, really. No, it could have been. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> so... Oh, it's how many years did you... You went for 15 years. I think That's so. a long time. On and off. I went... I moved away for a year to Manchester and then did came back. Did you find a similar pub in Manchester? I know Manchester a bit. Well, like well I was... Wind. I used to drink in a pub. Oh, God, what was it called? It was It was on the... Um, Stockport Road. Come between, on, you're getting close. I lived in Long Sight. Yes, my daughter lives there now. And it was either called the Plough or the Navigation, but I get confused. It was a rough pub with a pool table. That yeah, that your style, your type. And it was run by this crazy cool bloke called Kim. <laughs> it was a wicked pub because it was full of dodgy types again. But and there was <laughs> it was me and a couple of other student mates, but. They were lovely to us. <laughs> I know a lot of people think them pub, that type of pub is rough. Now, listen, Paul, would you Hi. go into something that you thought was a rough pub with um. all your HS2 talk? <laughs> no. But... Why not, love? Because what we're saying is they're a good place to go. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all about if you go in alone versus if you go in in a crowd. If you go in alone, you're never going to... It's going to be like a cowboy film. Everyone's going to turn around and the piano will stop playing or the jukebox these days. I... I I would never go in anywhere alone, but if you're in a group, surely you're just, yeah, not going to set upon you. Well, you... They're not going to set... I think you've got more chance of being set upon but in some of these posher places, don't you? Oh, definitely, yeah. You must people, have... The people you... in those pubs are used to drinking. <laughs> they, they, they're used to what happens to them when they drink. This is important. What you're saying is they're steady and they know what they're doing, whereas they're not, they don't go mad on it. Would you never go into... I'd go into pubs on my own, Paul. Really? Wouldn't well, you? If I'm meeting someone, I'll go in, but I won't just sit on my own, no. I have for those Even coffee shops or anything, no? You wouldn't? No. Listen, love, I travel all around the country, up and down on National Express, <laughs> and I go to loads of places. Would you, would you go into a place on your own, well, Johnny? Well, I used to all the time, especially... You, it was look for a pool table, because if you're on your own... <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, you would talk so to somebody. Now, listen... I think what he's saying is absolutely brilliant. What you're saying is, if there's a pool table there, there's going to be communication. Mm. Have they got pool tables anymore in pubs? No, they, they cause too much trouble, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> they take them out. There's a few. The old Moe's still got one upstairs. Oh, mm. right. There's no room in there either, really, is there? Mm, no, no. Um, I can't think of any others with a pool table oh, there. The one's uh, top of, oh, I can't remember where, op opposite Argos, that pub you go downstairs to. That's a great memory. Oh, in town? Yeah. Bacchus? Y y no. Not Bacchus. Not Bacchus. All, it's all... That's posh. That's very it's posh. It's posh. It's Athenian Bacchus. That's a first date pub, not a Oh, is pub. it? Yeah. <laughs> is that where you go in the first <laughs> That's date? That's where I take Johnny's people. thinking which pub he means yeah. now. Talk us through. Is it like Dale End? Do it? Just at the top of the hill, it yeah. It used to be called Sarah Moon's once yeah. upon a time, I think. It's had about Sarah five, Moon? It's had about yeah. five names. Never heard of it. Oh, it was a... It was mm. it was in the, uh, opposite the square peg. Basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. I do remember it. Sarah Moons. Mm -hmm. That's another name to conjure with. And was she was Sarah ever there? I have no idea who Sarah was, or if she <laughs> mooned. <laughs> 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 I was so I love this idea that uh, the, the, you were looking for pool tables. What do you think people are now looking for Wi-Fi? Hmm. Yeah, absolutely. They, you yeah. go in, nobody talks to each other. They're all on their phones. I'm as guilty of it as yeah. anybody else. But you're, you know, you're talking to your mates wherever you are. What, so what if you're really terrible at pool? 
Oh, you, then you're very popular with the locals, oh, really. They but... want someone to be. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, it's funny because like, the next big pub in my life was the Trafalgar in Moseley. Oh, well, I know the Traff very well. Did you, well, did you remember Tony? across it... the road from the Traff. What, on Woodbridge? Or on no, Tra... on Traff Road. Oh, because I lived opposite on Woodbridge Road. Oh, did you look? I <laughs> bloody knowing you. You probably did. <laughs> Sometimes, about half past ten, when they would close at eleven. What was the closing time? Half ten to eleven. I'd come over in my slippers and I'd look back now and it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but I did it, Paul, because you knew there would be people there that you knew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we used to. My mate went came in once in a towel because he came from the shower and <laughs> and he needed um, to talk to one of us and, and he had a pint. Because so, you know, he was only across the road. We were literally across the road. <laughs> one of my, That's brilliant. Go my, on, love. my favourite night. It was, I mean, it was years ago. It was in the nineties, and um, the the whole of Birmingham was snowed out completely. The great snow of 90s. But yeah. we lived across the road from the pub and Tony Gorman had oh. the fire going and me and Rich went over and there was just the three of us in the pub. It was, it was really Magical funny. times, it magic was. moments. Yeah. On your doorstep, local, just going over in a towel. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and they think that kind of thing, there was a big fuss, wasn't it, about girls going in and going to places with the curlers in their hair and wearing <laughs> pyjamas. Nothing's new under the sun, is it? No. Just a towel. Yeah. Thank you, Nick. He may have had slippers on too, I'm not sure. Well, yeah, we might have There's a lot of glass and stuff <laughs> on that road. So that was the next big pub in your life, the Trafalgar. Yeah. yeah. Which, of course, what's it called now? It's called the... Patrick Governor. Yeah, I know the Traff very well. So what, after 15 years, then, you you stopped using it because you went, you went to Manchester for a bit. Why did you stop using... The Fox and Grapes, your first love, your first pub. Because I moved to Moseley and started going to the Traff. Really. Oh, I see, so the Traff ousted it. <laughs> it did. I mean, we all started going, because originally when we went to Five Ways, none of us lived near each other. Oh. So we would go to, t- we were always looking for someone to go in town. Oh. And then, it's funny enough, actually, if you walk around Moseley, it's, it's amazing how many kids from the King Edwards Foundation no, I... live there. <laughs> I know you. Are you from there, Paul? No. The foundation. No. It sounds like some. Know. What does that some, mean? Some kind of clique. <laughs> yeah. Are you a member of the foundation? Yeah. But there are a lot of foundation people around, aren't there? There are. They're, if they're not bankers, they're drunks in Mosley. So. It's one or the other. Do you think? Uh, like I a think banker so. or a drunk? <laughs> yeah. Where would you put yourself? Well, today I'm neither. <laughs> <laughs> Good, you're in the middle. Oh, yeah. well, you're, you're in the middle. Well, if you're a drunk banker. Oh, they must well, exist, mustn't they? Well, I, I heard on the radio that, that... What was he called? He was a chancellor and they became prime minister for a bit. He, he fell out a bit. Gordon Brown. Gordon Brown, because he got fell out, didn't we, Tony? He's saying we're heading for another financial crisis. Well, he'd know. Well, I think he would. Unfortunately, he might, mightn't he? Isn't it awful? What's yeah. going on? Oh. Never mind, let's just talk about pubs. Yeah, <laughs> it's safer. It is safer, but actually, we're losing these pubs because of all because people like you, Paul, oh. want to save fifteen minutes for people coming from from London. I'll go play pool. Play pool. I'll you go p- practice my pool. That how? No, you're just saying that now to yeah, fit no. in. A I don't bit. think you're going to play pool. I feel bad now. You're not to feel bad because it's your shed, and we're very <laughs> <laughs> we're very 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 well, uh, grateful. The shed's here. not on the HS2 line, so we're safe. No. Do you think there'll ever be an HS3? Maybe. Where so, will it be? Someone told me that HS2 is a bad idea because someone has invented, like, you know, you get in, like, warehouses, you get those tubes where they sort of air... Oh! Those air tubes where they send the, the money from the Little messages up yeah. in the old days. Yeah. yeah. That, that apparently someone's pioneered that for trains and you can get to Scotland in an hour. So HS2 is a waste of time because HS3 will be one of them tubes. You could just pop yourself down to London in 10 minutes. There's my... That's, pff, someone told me that in a pub. So well, there you go. <laughs> it's that's, gotta be true. Yeah, gotta be true. and that's again the importance of pubs, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. <laughs> yes, all the best meetings happen in pubs. Do you think, on a serious note, we're just messing. We're not being messing around. There's some been very, very serious things being said. A lot of people moan and say young people are not as sociable and stuff. But mm. are they still using pubs? Let's yeah. pr- do it properly now. We don't want to, you know, have a go at them. Everybody has a go at them. They're all right. We was. Well, we're, we're focusing on closed pubs, but there's plenty of open closed ones. pubs. Yeah, you can't <laughs> get into a closed. Pub. No, but it's plenty of open ones. I think where people. I don't think. I hope we're not losing pub culture. Because I said all the best meetings happen in there. Proper pubs. Yeah. I like that one round the corner here. What's that called? This. Which way? Which way? Opposite Millennium Point. There's an old pub on the corner. Oh yes, the Woodman. Oh, the Woodman. It's the wood- beautiful. The pub. Woodman. That is proper, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd never been in it until that festival last summer beyond the mm. tracks 
Yeah. Um, that was the first time I got to go. It is a lovely pub. Those students don't know how lucky they are. Yeah. It's really beautiful, that yeah. pub. Yeah. And any other proper pubs, would you say? You've said Bacchus is a first date pub. <laughs> yeah. Because it's all little alcoves, yeah. isn't it? You Scruffy have... Murphy's, I guess. Where's the... Scruffy Murphy? That used to be not far from Sarah Moon's. It was, a, mm. it was like the other barrel organ, because it was also an alternative pub. Oh, mm. So there was right. punks and rockers in there. Yeah. Um, I'm thinking mainly wooden based pubs. <laughs> yeah. Pubs a lot of old wood inside. There was. There was a... oh, I know. Tap and Spile. Do you oh, know? yes. I like the karaoke in the Tap and Spile. It's a bit mad, but I absolutely <laughs> love it. Have you been, Johnny? T- no, I've known the name. I don't even know where it is. On the canal or around the back of. It's just oh, we do know the way you mean. From the Reb. And I'm, mm. honestly, if you like a, a mad karaoke night, and it brings people together because just people just rock up and then you think they'll be rubbish and then suddenly they sing and you think blinking at Mariah Carey's here it's absolutely brilliant I'd recommend any other recommendations mm. for pubs proper thing. pubs proper pubs yeah the what, um, Wellington the oh, Wellington has got that, that little mm. rooftop bar and the mm. spotted dog in Digbeth oh yeah that's spelting isn't it it is a lovely pub um, we must name all the pubs they might yeah. be listening see if yeah. they can get <laughs> some sponsorship it, yeah well, you... I, I'm very fond of the Prince of Wales, Mosley, because I was a barmaid there for quite a while. Oh, yeah. When were you barmaid there? <laughs> right, well, I'm, I'm terrible at dates. I mean, I don't know how old I am, not really. Um, I must have been the 70s, late, early 70s. Wow, really? When Bill and Bridget were... Oh, well, the very oh. first time I ever went in there, she... The, Again, that was exactly the same. She She's did all the work. Charge. Yeah, he, sat on, he wasn't always sat on his stool. Did he actually do some work then? Now and then, because I used to cash up. He used to be around then, and they had a big family. And on a Sunday, because you used to close on a Sunday, you'd get your Sunday dinner time drinking, and it would shut, wouldn't it, pubs? And she was brilliant, Bridget, because she would just time a Sunday dinner to be done. As they said, last orders, ladies and gentlemen, please. And you could smell her gravy coming up. You know that um, corridor. Kids. Absolutely brilliant. She was a gorgeous woman, gorgeous family actually. She was. Uh, did he? There he was died? a young Bill as well. He's died recently because yeah. I saw his son. I was walking up the road. I'll tell you where his son's got. You know that on the corner of Mosley, they've got that thing where they sell raw tie in and things you can put plants in. Do you know? Uh, yeah. That's one of their kids. The one with the beard. I... Yeah. I've always thought I recognised who well, he was. Well, you do recognise him. It's that family. It's the Horallerans. I can't say it. Horallerans. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's lovely. I wonder. I bet they knew a tractor. I bet they did. <laughs> well, they were, it was very I similar dynamic. I bet they dynamic. knew a tractor. Of course, it was because it was a classical cultural dynamic of pub life. Yeah. I remember you, you saying the Sunday lunchtime closing, which takes us to another age. But yeah. when we lived right opposite the Trafalgar, Sunday lunchtime closing... The drinking continued in my house, basically. Exactly where we're going now. Yeah, and and it, and every Sunday afternoon it lovely. was... Lovely. <laughs> it's the off. I know. But anyway, with lovely times. <laughs> and also, again, at the Prince of Wales, I think 11 o'clock closing, and you would line up at that little thing to get a takeaway. Uh. You'd get, you'd get oh, take out, please, Bill. What you having, Janice? And then, Barbara. And then... <laughs> it's because the tax are after me. I have to keep changing my name. <laughs> And then you would you would get loads of drink and then could say, where's the party? It mm. was very nice. Are there still as no, many house parties going on? What do you think, Paul? The house parties are my favourite. I love a house party. The best party. kind of house party, the best kind of night out is a house party in someone else's house. Yeah, um, not your own. Not no. your own. <laughs> you, have to yeah. die. you can have fun in your own house, but then you're always thinking, oh, that's going to be messy. Oh, you can't, you can't ever, I can't turn that Relax. off. Relax, yeah. yeah. People going through your fridge. Or who's getting, who's, oh, who's in your sick. bed. Is he Sorry. Gonna, <laughs> that guy looks a bit sick. Is he going to get to the toilet? I know, where's it going to happen? Yeah. But isn't it a lovely thing to have a house party? Yeah, there used to be a lot in Mosley, didn't there? I know, you used to just walk around and say, where's the party? Yeah. I used to love it just turning up at somebody's house. I didn't know him. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Yeah. Uh, and the organisation, you'd never believe it, there would be proper sound systems I know, in people's wonderful. kitchens. Oh. Do you think it is still happening? We don't know. If anybody's listening and they're still going to house parties in Mosley, <laughs> let us know. Yeah, I hope so. Send I do a letter worry that to Paul's shed. Nice. The young people, these the young people, they, they can't, they really can't go to pubs now, though. What they, do you mean they can't go? Well, I've got a 17-year-old son. Right. Too oh, ironic. have you? Too oh, young. Okay. Ironically, he works Too young, in, that's right. Yeah. Thank you. He works in a bar, but he can't get served in one. Oh, wow. And you really can't. So oh, because they, cause they did used to do underage yeah. serving, mm. didn't she? Because a tractor wouldn't be on her own doing that, would she? No, everywhere. I, I'd yeah. never... At 16... Yeah, I had my first drink at 14 in a pub. 14? Yeah, in a oh, pub, yeah. In a pub. But the same thing, you know, went to a good school, you go with all your mates and everything. Well, yeah. yeah. 
But they mean, did know what was going on. I mean, like but the you see, ID. can't do it anymore. Though. Yeah, there was no ID. Mm. They, no, they didn't care. No. I suppose the police were in there with you anyway, yeah, weren't well, they? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so your son's never been to a pub in that kind of a way? Um, no, I don't think he has. They, no, again, they do go back to each other's houses and they just spend all their time Snapchatting each other. <laughs> but, um, but, yeah, he Which works. is a good thing. And do you think it's a good thing, the Snapchat? I mean, we tried to do a selfie before. We were both rubbish at doing the selfie. Yeah. Why do we think we've got to do selfies? Nobody looks any good on them. No, I don't know. But it's daft all that. It's must do one because they're doing it. It's yeah. important you... for podcasting. Why, love? Because people can see a picture of you and go, oh, I watched... If you... well, it's an audio could... medium, but when people Paul, choose... Paul, yeah. couldn't you have took a shot of me and Johnny? That's, Why yeah. Johnny got to take it himself? It's daft. We should have got that. I do audio <laughs> and shed things. <laughs> Uh, cool, uh, he's amazing. Visual is an extra. He's very stuck in his... Thing, it's it's he's pretending he's a pool player. He's not a pool player. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a bad pool player. Very bad pool. I don't you think I know that? <laughs> <laughs> so, for, for the kids now, podcasting, all mm. that kind of... Well, well, I'm podcasting. Am I a kid now? Yeah. Why not? Is it is it a good thing to do podcasts? Well, yeah. Have, well, done, anybody be listening, done, Paul? You've done 25 minutes of it. How are you thinking of it now? Well, I think we've enjoyed ourselves. Yeah. I mean, but Johnny, how have you been feeling about it? Uh, lovely. Talking, it's, it's talking lovely. about the old days. <laughs> That's been lovely. It's more of a nostalgia cast. Yeah. It is, nostalgia. I'll tell you oh, what, it's been lovely, finding out how much we've got in common. Yeah, well, that's Mosley. <laughs> it is Mosley. And the foundation. Yeah. I wasn't part of the foundation. <laughs> because the podcast, you can lure people to have a chat with and then yeah. get to really know them. It's so it's a bit nice. like a pub then? Yeah. We'll get it's some... a podcast. <laughs> yeah. It's a podcast. Like a... Ah, it's a bit like a I pub. I know we're doing the next one. I was going to say, <laughs> it's where it should be. So it's, an, it's still standing, isn't it, the Fox and Grape? They keep saying it's going to be knocked down. That's why I did this when I came past. I thought, well, this pig is still there. Yes. What will happen? Do you think it will be getting knocked down for HS5 or whatever it is? Yeah, d- absolutely. I mean, somebody tried to burn it down, I presume. Oh, did they? Why? Because it, it was listed, wasn't it? So the people who bought it were buying it to sell to developers but then they oh. were stopped because everybody went it's the fox and grapes and it's listed mm. and then there was a fire oh okay there's always a fire, I wonder, always, a fire. It's always a fire i and wonder who did that i <laughs> fell into a burning ring of fire <laughs> yeah, exactly. insurance job there's yeah. always a fire yeah well always more fire. than oh well we can't do anything with it now we'll have to develop it so Is that oh I, I don't know if any of that's true yeah legally yeah let's not say that no <laughs> no it's all right no one's listening <laughs> that's true so <laughs> Oh well, that was a good. Do you think? Minutes. Do you think that that's what happened? Do you think that's what happened? The fire thing and the listed and all that. You know that cinema in Kings Heath. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the Kingsway. The, the, the Kingsway. The the back of that got burned, didn't it? Mm. Do you think it's? <laughs> you know, we don't know. We're not we don't saying know. anything. Could it be one person who really likes fire yeah. and doesn't yeah. like listed buildings. Oh, I bring you to burn. <laughs> it could be listed buildings and fires and stuff mm. like that. So anyway, that they. It, so it's of no use to anybody anymore. It's not coming back, no, it's not. No. It's a shame, isn't it? Yeah. We need, because really, although that woodsman is round the corner, mm. you don't want places too posh, I think. Where, 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 where are the ordinary people going to go for a laugh? Where are the proper drinkers going to go, where they feel comfortable? Where do you think people are going now for a proper drink? Well, they go into Weatherspoons. Oh, of are. course they do. Where they're, now, they're correct to Mundo. <laughs> Yeah. They go to Weatherspoons. That's do. exactly right. But they, if you go in Weatherspoons, there's not much talking happening between. There are, there's a lot of what I've no. observed is that there's a lot of fellas on their own, sat at mm. separate tables with a drink. Yeah, at eight o'clock in the morning. It's, that's no good, is it? That's no. not what pubs were meant to be. No, no attractor wanted you to get, have a drink. I know that. No pool. But she was glad no. when you were talking to other people. Once she attracted her. Absolutely, and she would talk to you if you weren't talking to anybody. Um, ah, the skill of the barmaid, the yeah. landlady, and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Does that happen anymore? Oh, well, I'm trying to think of a pub where the gaffer is behind the bar. Yeah. <laughs> no, are they and they're not, are they? It's management and corporates, and yeah. yeah, it's not the independence we used to have. The Prince of Wales, to be fair, they're they're quite often. They'll talk to you. Yeah. What's the 
the daughter now runs it and she's lovely. Oh, good. Now that's good. It's family, isn't it? Yeah, I can't remember her bloody name, though. The daughter of the Hallorans? No, not the Hallorans. Do you remember the Keith and Diane Keith took it Keith and over, Diane, yeah. And now the daughter runs it. Yeah, that. oh, I'm glad about that. Family makes a difference, doesn't it? Yeah. An old, an indie, like Paul said, independence does very nice. And there's a lot of... Indi- I think Birmingham's always been a bit independent. Yeah. Because we've, you know, what, what people came here, didn't they? Because what was it called? Nonconformists. Mm. A lot of them came, and I think that's still kind of in, in the in the spirit of things. Do you? We're doing yes. our own thing, Paul. You're doing shed. this in your shed, independent shed. It's kind of hosted by Bum Radio, but that's independent as well. That's Barely right. We like independence. My shed on Bum Radio property. Okay. So anyway, if you pass in the fox and What's it? This this is a story. It's an Aesop's fable, isn't it, John? It is. I don't What's think I've ever. I don't think I've ever it? read it. <laughs> I don't know. It's, mm, right. He's a. Um, it's not like you got to get a fox to an island and then some grapes and some chickens. Something and you've got to get about all the over usually there is about, about chickens. If the it's fox Aesop. eating the chicken and the chicken eating the seed and the chicken eating the grapes. It's not that, is it? No. Is it is it the fox climbing the branch to get to the grapes, uh, but the grapes keep bending further away? Let's find out. Something. Let's find fox out. What's grapes. it called? Fox and grapes. Let's. Yeah. Blinking, find out. And then the fox gets launched really high into the air. <laughs> and that's how they started fox hunting. Oh, because fox. it was like duck shooting, but with foxes, um, and they used to be in the air. No, none of this is right. Because it's filling time, really. I know you're filling time, love. <laughs> Not bad. You're doing very good. Keep, keep going, because I'm just looking up on my... Mistake I made was uh, hem- highlighting that I was filling time. She just carried on with a flying fox. No, you, you should, should never let people on. know. You, oh. but they might be thinking, I think he's filling time, but then you've, you've just made it quite clear that <laughs> no. you blinking were. Time's yeah. been filled by, filled by time the filling talk. and grapes. Yeah. There's a lot of talk about the pub. Right. Okay. Okay, now this is on... Fact um, attack. Fact Wiki- attack. Wikipedia. Fox and grapes is one of Aesop's fables. It's numbered 15... 15. Mm. The bad. narration is concise and subsequent reader. Who's written some of this? <laughs> I don't think he's very pleased with this. You can change it if it's that website uh, I think you're reading from. All right. I've often been... Right. The narration is concise and subsequent retellings have often been equally so. The story concerns a fox that tries to eat grapes from a vine mm. but cannot reach them. And rather than admit defeat, he states that he doesn't want them. And the expression ah. sour grapes originated oh, from this oh, fable. Yeah. So it's saying, if you can't have something, you said, I didn't want it anyway. Yeah, that attitude is everywhere at the moment. That is. Give us an example, then, a modern fable. Paul's modern fables. Fable. Uh, no, it's just every I didn't time. want it anyway. Yeah, I, I, I see that attitude. Like, like, is people go for, say, in a nightclub, they go for a date or they ask someone for a date. So, I didn't like her anyway. Oh, sort of OK. And so he was onto some. There's a whole website about... Um, men, w- women saying no to men online, this and then <laughs> well, no, it's, and then as soon as they say no, the men go from being sweet and trying to entice her to being nasty and say, "Oh, you, I, I was only giving you a sympathy oh, message." Oh, I didn't mean it yeah. anyway. Yeah, and it's really nasty, but that's exactly the same thing. Like, I really want you. I don't know no. what kind of websites you're going well, on, Paul. It's, it's very feminist, I promise. It, it's it's all, so it's all <laughs> saving face, but yeah, they're making themselves look more ridiculous. Exactly, and then these women get together and share all this and they realise everyone has to go through sad things like that. So, lads, to to kind of recoup then, now, Johnny, you've en- thanks for coming in, love, because it was very late notice and last minute. He said, go on then, Barbara, I'll come. Were you Thank in a pub? You, love. We weren't in a pub, Ooh. no, I just, just got the word out and he responded. Like <laughs> I said, if you put it out, it will come back to you. So I, I've enjoyed talking to you, Johnny. I've enjoyed finding out a bit more about a tractor and how similar that they were to Bill and Bridges they at, were, yeah. at the, at the um, Prince of Wales. I never had a lock in at the Prince, though. <laughs> oh, absolutely not. She'd get rid of you. <laughs> I think Bill might have gone to a few. <laughs> I bet Bill was often at, the, at uh, the Fox and Grapes, actually. Where else can you get a lock in now? Still, the Omo, you can still get one, can't you? Oh, I wouldn't be able to confirm. I would say anything. I wouldn't say that. To, <laughs> I would be in trouble. <laughs> nowhere. Nose. Absolutely no, nowhere no, anymore. Those days are gone, Barbara. <laughs> those were the days, my friend. They thought they'd never end. Yeah, you can't get a lock in anywhere anymore. <laughs> so I've enjoyed it. We've never done a podcast before. And who knew it was just having a chat in a shed? <laughs> so maybe you'll hear from us again in the future, maybe looking at other things that, we, you know... 
what's been lost and what, what can be found. So we say we might lose the fox and grapes. What do you think we've found? What have we found? A quicker way to get to London, which no one wants. But I, I, the other people want it. Yeah, I know that. Some people. I know that. Well, some, some people. I hope people want it because it's costing a lot of piggy money. Mm. Some well, people yeah. are want it. I think they're, they're, as you hinted at, they're bankers from London who want to live in Moseley and yeah. still work in London. A lot of That's London people are fine Birmingham. That's what cheaper, happens. it's cheaper for them, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's cheaper for them. Right, OK, then. So this is Barbara Nice, over and out. with a nice talk with Johnny. Say ciao to everybody, John Love. Ciao, everybody. <laughs> I'm from Paul, because it's Paul's shed via mm. Brum Radio. Thank you. Back to my shed. Back to the... Well, we're in the shed, you daft yeah, thing. I'll get to myself now. Oh, oh, I see. What's his <laughs> shed to himself? OK, then. Me and Johnny will just nip out now and then. Maybe go for a drink somewhere. Oh, no, where's can't where's a pub. good place to go to for me and our closest good pub? The Woodman. Woodsman. The Woodman, mm. yeah. Is it the Woodman? The yeah. Woodman. Spare that tree. See you, loves. Over and out. Barbara Nice. Barbara's in Streiser. Nice in the biscuit. This has been my um, maiden podcast. Thank you. Ta-ra.